Alright, hello there guys and welcome back to another Python tutorial. Uh, this is uh, part 6 of this file systems video that I'm doing. Um, so to do to start with this this episode, we're going to be um, writing a menu, uh, re re redoing the menu actually. Uh, we're going to be making it print out sort of the user information and stuff at the start of the, before the menu, like when the menu comes up. So you know what user you have. Um, currently loaded. Uh, so this is only going to be coming up if the user has um, already been loaded. So if there's if it's equal to NA, as in non-applicable, then it will not print. So if not applicable, print print um, current loaded account. We'll go back and do those capitals now, actually. I forgot to capitalize current. Um, okay, then we go print um, <sighs> customer number. Jesus, I can't spell for crap today. Customer number. It doesn't look right. No, oh, yeah, it's right. Hold on. Um, we need to go and fix this as an N. Um, and then we go like that there. And then we go plus. Um, or you can do anyway, but current information, and that's uh, zero. Zero. Uh, we, yeah, we might as well do print, uh, and print, and we're going to pretty much take this whole thing again. Instead of customer number, it's going to be one, and going to be customer name. Ooh. Name. And then we're going to take this again, and it's going to be customer balance, or uh, yeah, customer balance as well balance and this one's going to be two as that's the number the name and the um, balance uh, squares or um, list items and then we're going to call save as we don't want it to save if there's no one loaded um, and then we just go else let me put this one forward uh, actually, no, that one there needs to go back. And so this here now calls, if, the, if there's a person loaded, it prints out their balance name, number, etc. Um, <coughs> if there's no account loaded, it tells you to load or create an account. Um, and yeah, so that's that's fixing that part, and it also automatically saves every time the menu is run if there's an account loaded. Like, it automatically saves that account. Right, now we're going to go ahead and start writing the load function. So this load function is going to print, um, is that what it's called, yep, this function is going to uh, print out the users, oh, so, so the, the um, it's going to print out all the ones that are in the files.txt folder, so if we open that up you'll see there's three folders in there at the moment, our uh, three informations and things in there at the moment, so count equals zero, um, if Current inf oh, we can copy and paste this one actually. We use this one a lot. Uh, copy and paste because it just saves us writing out that line multiple times. Um, then we save. Um, then we print a blank line as that just splits it from the menu. Um, and we want to print. Um, print slash t because that's going to bounce it out from the side and then we want to print um, file list so uh, file list all right so now that um, does the header like the menu has the bank system header um, and yeah so now if I in uh, file list. Oh wait, what's the file names? File names? Yeah, file names. Yeah. 
Okay, so for an iron finite, we want to go count plus equals one. Then we want to go um, print uh, count. And then we want to go print, oh, well, the same, same line, we want to go print i. So that's going to print out a number before it, so a one in the first case, and then the ID number, two in the ID number, three in the ID number in this case. Um, and so that's going to make it easy for the user to um, to to select which account they want to open. So if count is equal to zero, then we want to print that the file system is empty. File uh, list is empty. Ooh, empty. All right. So now we want to go and um, print that they print the information that they need. So they need to know that you can type C to go back to the menu. Menu. I'm not capitalizing anything. <laughs> Jesus, I'm terrible at capitalizations. All right, no, that's fine. Uh, T. Uh, F. All right. Um, now this, we also need to ask them which file they would like. So print which file would you like. And I didn't capitalize that one either. Alright. Now, this is where we ask them for their selection. So selection equals input. I need to fix that. Input. Oh, input. And I don't need those either, actually. Now, this could be done as an integer, but due to us wanting to them to type C to go back to the menu, um, we don't want it to be an integer. So now we just want to go if selection dot upper is equal to equal to C, then menu. As that's going to take them back to the menu. And um, We don't need that. No. Okay, so elif um, int of selection is greater than zero, and int of selection is is less than or equal to length of file names then we can um, load um, um, we'll go to loading file um, or load file equals open uh, we can actually just go and copy and paste another open thing from here somewhere because it will save us writing it out save this one here we'll do oh no actually we want more of the path so, where is open? Open. So we want to get, say, this one. Um, where is it? Which one do you want? Oh, I want to save, actually, this one. I want this one here. Copy. I want to go to load. I want to paste it in here and change it to read. So change it to R for read. Now, we also want to go up to here and grab read lines. Um, so, th these two here actually, we want both of them. As we want to read line, and then we want to strip it um, of all the unneeded information. So, read lines and then file names. Um, so, with this, we're going to go file names equals uh, load file, load file. And then we want to change this to say um, loading info, load info, info. And we want to go here and go load inf ooh, yeah, info. And change this here to load info too. 
Right, so this gets the file called load file. It reads it, then it reads the lines into the variable load info. Then it strips it into load info and removes all the bits and puts it into individual items in a list rather than a big long string. Um, and then we want to print current information to check it. Um, and that's about it. Um, else pass. Um, there's not actually anything keeping this repeating. So if the user didn't say, actually, no, we want you want this to be equal to current information. Sorry, because this is going to be um, this is going to assign this here, this the variables here into this list list here. Right. So if we go down and run it now, just to check this, so we can try we'll try and load a file and everything. Um, so we just need to rerun it. And say you want to go to load. We've got the three accounts there. We've got one, two, and three. We'll take uh, two. And we have C is not defined. Okay, so that just needs um, uh, so speech marks put around it. So where is it? There it is. Because at, at the moment it's just a variable. So there we go. So now if we go back in now and run it in the script, it should work. All right. So rerun it. Load. Two. Oh, and we have no such directory. Oh, we have a problem. Uh, we haven't taken the right uh, function, the variable in um, in the opening file or the file. So let's go back to that. So if we go back up to it, it is here. We don't want to get the string of current information zero. We want to get the string of file name, file name, um, your file names, and then selection minus one. Uh, so integer of selection minus one. Int of selection minus one. This is because we're adding a count every time. So the count is not equal to what is actually not next to the number in the list because in a list it starts at zero. We're adding one, and so the first value is equal to one. So when you type in a one, it minuses that one off, getting zero to get the first value. Um, so if we go back and test it now uh, and rerun it, you'll see if we go load details two, that now loads the user's details. Steve two account opened. So with this account opened, it will only print, be printed if you load the details, or display the details. So that's something we're going to be doing in the next video. Um, so thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, hope you actually learned something. And I hope to see you watching the next video. Let's see you.